you've been in power for nine years you are a majority government you could have triggered this debate in the last nine years inside parliament now we've got one year to go less than a year to go to the elections we've come up with the uniform civil court and a national debate in 2018 the law commission made it very clear law commission appointed by your government suggested that this was not the time they believed for a uniform civil court there were other ways in which you could ensure gender friendly laws no one denies that you need gender friendly laws that muslim women need the same benefits that other women get but could you could your government have not done this much earlier why now very quickly ma'am say this i am glad that you are holding the bjp to high standards of accountability yes this could have been done much earlier but please note that as recently as the 29th of march 2023 it was at the behest of the erstwhile law minister kiran jijiju who had filed a petition through tushar mehta the sg in october 2022 that on 29th march 2023 the supreme court said it is not the domain of the court this is the domain of the parliament and the legislature and if the legislature deems fit then yes. ucc should become a law and i think that means that the debate will soon be over and this will be a law before we run into 2024 you are saying it is important it you are telling me it will be a law before 2024 that parliament will pass a law sanju verma is claiming that this will become a law before 2024 mr sarvanan you want to respond you've just heard in a way mr modi is trapping you because if you oppose it you will be seen as gender unfriendly therefore is the opposition ready to have this debate on the uniform civil code surely it's a debate whose time has come i come from goa a state which yes. has inherited the uniform civil code in a way from portuguese and it's not harmed anyone why not have, why not at least have the debate why not trigger off the debate in parliament yeah 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 uh, rajdeep that is uh, perhaps probably because goa is not indicative of the diverse culture as that of india so that is why goan example cannot be fitted across the country no, no, and i think not? the goa prime has minister a large, no, no, one marking, minute goa has a large christian minority yeah. population goa has a large hindu population we now have muslims who live in goa i mean are we saying that a uniform civil code will go against the diversity of india surely in the absolutely. 21st century all that we want is gender friendly gender neutral laws yes absolutely I, i'll come to that uh, uh, rajdeep see the problem is this the prime minister is smarting from his disastrous press conference probably he acceded uh, probably his uh, constituents here wanted him to oppose whatever the question that has been put out in the white house mm -hmm. he said uh, Uh, we are protecting the minorities probably he wants to put a dog whistle that dog whistle is this uniform civil code it is not possible you clearly pointed out that the 2018 law commission's report mr chauhan said it is unnecessary and he also stated what we need is only gender neutral laws gender friendly laws for a vast country like india it is untested and we don't want it why would the union government go against the recommendations of the law commission the law commission has been constituted specifically for this purpose mm -hmm. and let us no, leave no, me, the no, no, what do you other, fear other religion. no no what do yes. you fear Sir, mr sarvanan what is the fear yes. what is the fear, no, the fear if at all this. india has a uniform yes. civil code tomorrow yes no no the fear is this this is used as a political tool we are having article 25 which says you can practice you have can you can have your own uh, religious ways to do what you want this will be discrimination this will run afoul of article 14 the article 14 also means unequals should not be treated equally see in even in hindu culture mm -hmm. certain cultures allow consanguineous marriages certain cultures won't allow consanguineous marriages so how are you going to reconcile all these things is that not a, that... such a huge exercise okay. why do you want to do this now you asked a very pertinent question why now why now because the union government is unable to defend itself on what it has done for the people of the country they have not done no, 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 anything no, no, no. and now, one minute, now one minute, one minute, the people, just just a minute just a minute rajdeep let me complete this yes. the please people stop. of no, india no 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 sanju verma don't intervene please yeah yeah the people of india are smart enough to understand that jimikri this rhetoric is not going to work anymore okay. people will people will understand your, your policy is a gimmick just a minute just you made your point sir mr sarvanan mr yes. sarvanan you made your point 